Hello everyone and welcome to my Autodesk Driver tutorial. In today's Autodesk Driver tutorial, I'll be showing you how to draw in cross ties for reinforced concrete columns. So it can come in the shape of hooks like V's over here or ties like V's over here. So the cross tie shape will greatly depend on the number of vertical rebar that you have for your reinforced concrete column. So on the left hand side over here we have 12 vertical rebar in this reinforced concrete column here and your cross links might look like this. And on the right over here we have a reinforced concrete column with 8 vertical rebar and your cross links could look like this over here. And by the end of this Revit tutorial you'll have the confidence to draw in column cross ties for your reinforced concrete columns in Revit. Before I begin this Revit tutorial I'd like you to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe for more Autodesk Revit tutorials like this. So without further ado let's get started. So let me just quickly copy this column out over here and this one right over here. And I will delete these additional cross ties over here. So let's start off with a cross tie like this one over here. So I will go to a plan view. Level 2 over here. And I will select this column over here and select on rebar. And instead of using the expand to host or by two points option. Choose the sketch option over here. And select the column. And just use the line tool for now to draw in this main line right here. Now all we need to do is drag out this line like so. And draw in the hook. And click on finish edit mode over here. Now right now we have an error over here. And it says that can convert sketch to rebar shape. So just click on continue. So that means we need to smoothen out this joint over here. So we can use the fillet arc over here. Like so. And just adjust it. Like so. Select it. And move it over a little bit over here. And click on finish edit mode. If you still have this issue, click on show. And if it still has an error, just click on continue and just delete this first. Sometimes the sketching tools are a bit fuzzy. Click on finish edit mode. And let's change it to a 10mm bar for example. And let's edit the sketch for this rebar. So let's try extend it out. And make a 90 degree hook first. Click on finish edit mode. And as you can see we have successfully drawn in one cross tie over here. We can make some fine adjustments here to the dimensions. Make that 80. Click on finish edit mode. And then we can add a hook at the start can be a 90 degree hook or a 135 degree hook. It's up to you. But in this case, I'm going to try make it hook like this over here. So I'll edit this sketch one more time. And I will try to draw a line over here. So let's see if that works. There we go. So this is the 135 degree hook over here also known as a 135 degree seismic hook and I'll just quickly do that over here as well so draw at the end over here make sure the angle is 45 degrees or 135 degrees click on finish edit mode and you will get the hook to work just fine like so. And in 3D mode over here you can see that we need to adjust the constraint appropriately. So let me just make this visible in 3D before I adjust the constraint. 
So if I go to a uh, South Elevation, you can see it over here. Let me just make this finer. And check on the visibility again. So it's visible now. I'll edit the constraint right now. And I will key in a value of minus 30 millimeters here. So now this cross tie is correctly inside this column right here. And I'll just quickly draw in the other side just by copying this one out and rotating it using the rotate tool over here and modify and rotate it by 90 degrees and move it over here like so and we can see it in 3d over here so we just need to offset one of them underneath the other so edit constraint over here key in minus 10 like so and there you go and this is our column cross tie for eight vertical rebar over here you can multiply them out by choosing number with spacing here and you can key in 30 for example since this column is three meters tall and the spacing is a hundred millimeters so 30 would be the right amount so now we've already successfully drawn in the cross ties for this reinforced concrete column with eight vertical rebar over here let's move on to this reinforced concrete column over here which has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve vertical rebar over here so the concept is similar select this reinforced concrete column click on rebar Click on sketch and choose this reinforced concrete column right here and choose the rectangle tool just to draw out the outline and choose the H10 rebar size. So this is the cross tie over here but there are some things to be ironed out so let's edit the sketch again. Let's make this 200 millimeters over here. And let's move this over like this and drag this down like this and drag it up here. Click on OK. So we've already drawn in the cross tie successfully, but we just need to fix this hook over here. So I did sketch again. Okay, so we have an error over here. So Revit doesn't like this at all. So let's try remove one of these over here. Again. Doesn't like it at all. So this issue will not be solved by trying to edit the sketch. Instead, we need to try this option right here. And see if we can resolve it. Like so. So we've already resolved the hook issue for this cross tie for this column with 12 rebar over here. So let me just copy this out like so and rotate this by 90 degrees. And let's proceed to a south elevation view and make this visible. And let's edit the constraints here key in minus 30 millimeters so that the cross ties would be within the rebar cover click on finish select one of the two over here edit the constraints again and key in minus 40 millimeters if you see that they are still touching you can key in minus 42 for example or minus 45 millimeters over here I click on finish and in the 3d view we can see the column cross ties modeled in nicely over here 
And that's it for today's Autodesk Revit tutorial. If you learn something new from this tutorial, like this tutorial, share this tutorial, and subscribe for more Autodesk Revit tutorials like this. And as always, stay safe, keep learning, and goodbye.